Dual Fury Beneath the Earth, Steamboat Geyser's Eruption in Yellowstone Sparks. Fears of a supervolcano awakening as Klauia violently erupts again in Hawaii. June 25, 2025. The Earth is breathing fire in a chilling sequence of geologic events. Unfolding within days of one another, two of the planet's most volatile geothermal systems Yellowstone National Park in the United States and Klauia. Volcano in Hawaii have erupted violently, alarming scientists and triggering fears that the Earth's restless energy is once again shifting beneath our feet. What began as a single geyser eruption in Yellowstone quickly evolved into a scientific emergency when signs of magma movement emerged, shortly followed by a terrifying outburst from the Pacific's fire goddess, Peel, at Klauia. Part I, Steamboat S, Fury Yellowstone's slumber disturbed at 4.13 a.m. local time. The ground near the Norris Geyser Basin began to rumble. Seismic instruments captured a rapid buildup of underground pressure. Moments later, the still starlit silence of Yellowstone was shattered as Steamboat Geyser erupted with astonishing force, sending a jet of boiling water, steam, and ash more than 360 feet into the air visible from miles away. The explosion was accompanied by a roaring sound that echoed through the caldera like the breath of something ancient and angry. Tourists and rangers fled as a scalding mist blanketed the area, and dozens of trees were felled by the raw force of the blast. Emergency crews were deployed immediately, fearing that more geysers might follow. But it wasn't just the eruption that terrified scientists sit, was what lay beneath it. Advanced USGS monitoring systems and seismographs detected unusual harmonic tremors the type, often associated with magma movement beneath volcanic systems. Using ground deformation radar and satellite thermal scans, geologists identified localized uplift and intense heat zones particularly beneath the steamboat and Norris. Dr. Eliza Hartman, senior geologist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO announced in a hastily arranged press briefing, what we're seeing is not typical hydrothermal behavior. This eruption appears to have breached or severely pressurized the magma cap layer, the rock shell that separates the magma reservoir from the surface hydrothermal system. In simple terms, the lid is showing signs of cracking. Further compounding. Concerns for sharp increase in underground carbon dioxide emissions and new fumarole activity was detected along the western caldera rim, phenomena that typically accompany magma migration closer to the surface. The Yellowstone magma chamber, long studied and feared for its supervolcanic potential is showing signs of awakening after decades of dormancy. By noon, the USGS officially raised the Yellowstone Volcanic Alert level from normal to advisory, issuing a watch for increased seismic activity, ground deformation, and further geyser explosions. Park rangers closed off multiple access areas as scientists scrambled to deploy new monitoring probes directly into the ground near the eruption site. The fear now is no longer just about a geyser, but about whether the long-feared Yellowstone supervolcano, capable of continental devastation, could be inching toward renewed life. Part 2. Klauia Awakens. Lava returns to the Island of Fire. As eyes turned toward Wyoming, a fiery answer erupted from the Pacific. On the evening of June 24, only hours after Steamboat's outburst, the Klauia volcano in Hawaii exploded into violent activity. 
lava fountains erupted more than 200 feet into the air from new fissures along the Halema Uma Ukraida and the East Rift Zone. Earthquakes rippled through the Big Island, and volcanic lightning flickered through a sky blackened by thick plumes of ash and sulfur dioxide. This latest eruption is now being categorized as the most powerful since the devastating Arlingi Ba Chloia disaster, which destroyed hundreds of homes and reshaped the island's eastern landscape. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory HVO, reported that magma surged into a shallow chamber beneath the crater just days before the eruption. building pressure that lifted the crater floor nearly two meters before finally fracturing through. Jeez, look at that. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> we saw the signs building, said Dr. Keone Akai, a volcanologist based in Hilo, but the speed and violence of this eruption caught even us off guard. Multiple new lava vents have opened, and flow rates are exceeding 30,000 gallons per second. thousands of residents from Foa Lalani estates and surrounding communities were evacuated as lava began to consume roads, homes, and farmland. Emergency shelters are overflowing and National Guard troops have been deployed to assist with containment and aid. Even more alarmingly, Seismic stations across the Pacific have now confirmed deep mantle tremor patterns beneath both Hawaii and the Yellowstone Plateau prompting leading geoscientists to ask a disturbing question. A global geodynamic connection. While Claudia and Yellowstone are separated by thousands of miles, some experts suggest they may be reacting to global mantle dynamics, including tectonic plate stress, gravitational harmonics, or magma plume, oscillations deep within the Earth's astenos, PHERE. Dr. Sofia Vasquez, a geodynamicist at the University of Colorado, offered this sobering analysis. Earth is a living, breathing system. When pressure shifts beneath one hotspot, that energy must travel somewhere. The near simultaneous activity at Yellowstone and Klawia may be more than coincidence it could be evidence of a deeper planetary shift in magma flow and heat transfer. The world holds its breath. Back in Yellowstone, the air remains tense. Helicopters circle above the Norris Geyser Basin, 